Uh, we're always innovating at the Harvard Extension School for our global adult learners, right? Continuing education is an entrepreneurial space, right? And we always need to be changing and growing with our students. Our students actually keep us on our toes and, and make us you know, challenge ourselves and be creative and start new things. So this year is no different. Uh, one of the things we're most proud of is the micro certificates. We're launching 10 new micro certificates that you helped create. Uh, and these are two course graduate certificates that then stack towards our four course graduate certificates that then stack to our 12 course master's degree programs. And it's a way for students to get a taste for the Harvard Extension School, learn a new skill, take one or two courses, take two courses and earn a credential. So we've entered the micro-credential space, which is very hot in continuing education. And uh, you know, there's one in uh, life cycle assessment, there's one in FinTech, there's also one in well-being at work. So we've, we've kind of you know, run the gamut of all sorts of professional areas so students can start their skill building right away. So very excited about those. We've also launched seven week courses, uh, which is brand new for us. So um, ordinarily our courses are about 15 weeks long and they meet once a week in the fall and the spring term. Um, but we decided to try seven week courses that meet twice a week for four credits. Uh, so a student could take a course in the first half of the fall term or in the second half of the fall term. And this is just flexibility, you know, like what if you work in an industry where the first half of the fall term is crazy busy and you can't take a course. So that means you're kind of out for the whole fall term, right? So maybe you're at the second half of the fall semester, you, you know, things slow down a little bit and you can take a course. Um, or maybe you just want to take a course for the half term, you know. Offering flexible options for our busy working adult students is really important to us. So we've launched about 30 of those. Um, so we're excited to see if students are interested in taking those uh, twice a week uh, for four credits. We have also launched a new field of study, uh, an ALM field of study in computer science, which we're very excited about. A new ALM field of study in systems engineering uh, we have revamped our biotechnology program, focusing more on innovation, entrepreneurship, and the business of biotechnology. So that's super exciting. Uh, and most importantly, I think our biggest change this year is that we've standardized the on-campus requirement for all our 20 fields of studies in the master's program. So this means that all students are, will be required to take one four credit a course to complete their degree, which is different for us because we had some that was four courses to come to campus or 12, 12 credits to come to campus. So in this way, we've kind of leveled the playing field of all our ALM degrees and we've made our, our offerings more accessible and more affordable, particularly for our global learners who have to fly here from all parts of the world to come. But um, we haven't given up on the most important part, right? We're Harvard, and coming to Harvard is really important to our offerings and to the experience. So the, we've created these wonderful active learning weekends and active learning three-week courses where students can kind of bridge that, you know, that space between theory and practice, right? I mean, our students are putting together uh, what they learn in the classroom in their work lives every day. And so, but we've created about 40 active learning weekends courses and uh, three week courses where students can, you know, come to campus in small communities and really apply their learning to real world problems. So we're excited about that.